It's over, we get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds, but now with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant chip. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend the title yet again. Prior to his title reign, we saw this 170-pound title change hands quite a bit. Not so since he earned the strap. We'll see if he can keep it here tonight against the number one contender. Nice hammer fist. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. His hook shot blocked, that one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. We cross the midpoint in round one. But now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Nicely done. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Ninety seconds now to go in this one. Gets up again here, but hurting. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, Superman punches good. Oh, he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not. Now the transition to the Judo Pro, right into side control, where he will have no shortage of options. All right, he's sort of hanging out here, unguarded DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the getups. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Knee to the body. What a fight so far. All right, round two. Crucifix gonna work from the top now. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. And back to his feet. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he lands another takedown 
here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Indian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponents to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Fantastic takedown, man. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick, he did not recognize it. Nice job using his strength there to posture up and see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, nice! He's gonna tag on bar here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build the shield, get back to your feet, or dig it under him to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, how about those five minutes? So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier. Awesome. Catch your breath. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes... Whoa! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, beautiful level change. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. Up now. now he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fight. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, well, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually go out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out this space. Find places to rest. He's hurt, he's hurt bad. Unable to land with that punch. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense early. He's done, he's done. Yeah, that right there is a high level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by...